Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucida of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here today, which is Saturday, May 27, 2017, to give you some daily inspiration. So the first thing that I wanted to do is say thank you to all those that like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and thanks to those that follow us on Pinterest and Twitter. Also, thanks to those that come to me on the two links below for chat readings. So whenever I'm online, you can see that I'm online via Twitter or the availability on those two links. I also have a private video chat reading option if you're interested. So first I want to start out with this positive affirmation for my Louise Hay I Can Do It calendar. It says, every hand that touches my body is a loving, healing hand. I know that I am safe. And you see the two raccoons here gently nuzzling each other so what a beautiful message to start out this saturday morning or whenever you're watching this video for me it's saturday i'm going to also start with a prayer from the sonia chopkat prayer book so i'm just divinely guided to oh that's not a prayer divinely guided to choose a prayer from the book okay so the prayer is my own self undoing holy mother father god divine loving light and heart of the universe, we humbly ask for the healing power of your grace to remove the blinders from our eyes and help us see our own undoing. Grant us the grace to become more aware of where and how we tune others out, cause problems, and isolate ourselves. Please send in your angels to help us remove the excessive guard around our hearts so that we may be able to freely give and receive the love we yearn for. We thank you in advance with our whole heart and soul for answering our prayer and opening our hearts. Amen. And with infinite gratitude. So speaking of that, um, I have been doing meditations to release heart armor from another healer. And I am going to put the links to those below so that you can check them out. They might help you in your journey. So what they do is remove your own heart armor but also affect your beloved and help to decrease the dynamic that's causing that between you and your twin flame so the first thing i thought i would do would be to do a celtic cross tarot spread using my revelations tarot deck by zach wong um, as far as like the first cards i would pull for us and these are going to be a divinely guided message of where your twin flame is so whoever's watching this video has a twin flame probably that you know they're wondering about because you wouldn't be watching videos if you didn't have a sense of maybe doubt or frustration or separation from your beloved so if you were happy and in a harmonious union with your twin you would be enjoying that hopefully and you wouldn't be watching these videos necessarily so this is something for those that are looking for some solace looking for some answers looking for some guidance on where their twin is at this time in the journey so i'm just going to focus on whoever you're tuning in to find more about so how your twin feels about you and what steps they're going to be taking toward you that's what we're looking for in this reading all right so the bottom of the deck energy is the six of wands so it looks to me that your twin flame has been doing a little bit of shadow work maybe unknowingly kind of you know battling their own demons but they've be they've been excuse me victorious so that means that they're feeling that they're able to conquer whatever those demons may be so i would say the energy of this reading would last for about a week before and after the reading or really whenever you're called to watch it it should be valid for you and remember it's general so take only the parts that resonate with your soul the foundation, so how your beloved is seeing this journey, seeing this relationship or connection with you. We have the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles is a very good card. It's a card of give and take, of stability in the 
physical world, we also see the infinity symbol drawn in there. So that's a good sign for our twin flame to be acknowledging and feeling grounded and that this connection gives them some sense of spiritual and earthly 3D stability. Okay, so this is an obstacle card. It's the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords kind of shows someone that thinks they're getting away with something. So like a thief in the night type energy. So this is the type of energy that would actually impede or hold back the union from coming into play. So I believe that the person that you're watching this for to find out more about could use that tactic, could use the silent treatment, could use just outright lies or even just white lies. But these are things that are not going to help the situation, obviously. They are not going to bring you closer to union. We know that, but that is what they're dealing with, whether they should be truthful and honest or tell white lies or, you know, um, keep hiding something or keep hiding something from themselves even. The crowning energy is the four of pentacles. So again, this is another card of stability in the earthly plane, but also can give the sense that one would be perfectly balanced in the 5D as well. So this is a really good card um, showing that there's growth there over the you know next week or so for your beloved, that they're going to be feeling more secure in their finances, in their position as a 3D individual, what they have to work with is this nine of swords so this is a card of anxiety and sleepless nights okay so i feel that many of the counterparts that we're inquiring about most of them are probably divine masculines but some could be divine feminines who you know maybe are unbalanced and carry some of the masculine energy now or more of the masculine energy with maybe um in some respects but whoever you're watching this about, they're going through what we call like a dark night of the soul where nothing in their life is really working for them. They're having to face their inner demons, their biggest fears. Things are happening all around them that they don't understand. They're facing the lowest vibrational emotions of doubt and fear and shame and unworthlessness and or unworthiness and worthlessness. So all of those emotions are keeping them up at night and they're trying to figure out what they can do to make themselves feel better at this point. Some of them might be turning to escapes like alcohol or drugs, but if, a lot, if they're in the awakening process, they're starting to realize that they cannot use those methods anymore, that those are just masks. So in the recent past, we have the nine of wands. So we have a passion brewing for the partner that you're looking into. So they are standing their ground. Okay, so what this means is that even though they have and another nine comes up, they have these demons that they're facing. They are determined to put those in the past so they can move forward because what they want is true happiness and what they want is most likely their beloved twin flame so they want to be happy with their twin so they're using all their willpower and all of their energy in order to fight those demons so they've mustered up the strength in the recent past to kind of stand up for themselves to find their power within and to use that passion and power to move them forward. So in the near future, their energy will be more like that of the king of pentacles. So on the earthly plane, they are going to feel more secure, stepping into their power, feeling like they have it all, like they've been able to overcome those demons to heal those emotions using their sheer willpower 
And that's great. So they're coming into a mastery of themselves. And we have a lot of pentacles showing up. So it shows that, or it gives me the idea that the twin that you're inquiring about is really looking at this in a more 3D way because they're feeling in a practical sense that they are going to be able to crush or overpower their emotions and demons and overcome addictions and overcome, you know, any vice that they have. So they're thinking of it in a more practical, maybe um, self-help type of way than a spiritual way from the card there, All right? Um, how they feel about themselves. How they feel about themselves is the two of wands. So they feel that they can crush the enemy. For the enemy is those demons, those worries, those cares, those concerns, those addictions. Any karmic situation that's holding them back. You see the thunderbolts and the power that this individual is using to overcome their demons. So they feel that they have that power. How other people see them as is the three of swords. So in the Rider Waite Tarot, this is the card with the heart with the three piercing swords. So other people see them as just broken, that their heart is broken, that they're in agony and anguish. What they're hoping and fearing is the Three of Pentacles instead. So what they want is more financial stability, more earthly stability. They'd like to be with their beloved and be financially secure and stable and have all the things that, you know, they've been wanting, both in a relationship, but just to have that stability so they feel that they could build the relationship with their beloved and the outcome is the emperor so the emperor tells us that your divine counterpart is going to find the source of their power because they have the will and they know that they have the passion and they know they have what it takes to overcome their demons and to move forward the emperor is a divine masculine card so they're finding their divine masculine or they're finding the power within if they're not the masculine that you're inquiring about. So, you know, this reading is general again, but it points to the evolution of the partner that you're inquiring about. They might be going about this journey a little bit more practically than you are. So meaning that they're not really seeing it so much as a spiritual journey, but maybe a journey of them finding themselves like in a psychological sense so just keep that in mind that they are seeing things a little differently than you but remember that with their spirituality comes a lot of power and so with that i'm going to pull one of the keepers of the light oracle cards something that you can practically so here we go with the practical. You can practically implement. I believe that by you embodying this energy that we're going to see, and this is the card that wanted to exit the deck. Okay, by you embodying the spirit of Odin and maybe invoking Odin who had psychic insight with your third eye opening and seeing the truth for what it is and following your own intuition, by you doing that, you're going to inspire your beloved twin flame to also follow their own intuition and not to look at this journey as only a psychological self-help type of journey, but a journey to their soul. And so if you embrace that, if you embody that, if you can stand in your own soul truth, and what I mean by that is you know that you have a connection with your beloved and sometimes you doubt it. Well, stop doubting it and use your third eye. Work on opening that third eye so that you could psychically and intuitively you know, know what the future holds. Because I can tell you, if you are a twin flame, the future holds that you and your beloved should be together. 
And the question is, are you going to be staying committed to this journey? Are you staying committed to your beloved? Are you going to do what it takes to basically you know, make this happen? Because they're looking at it a little differently than you. And you're the one who needs to work in the fifth dimension to strengthen your connection with them. If you don't know how to do that, I have some teaching videos on different, um, they're just real short teaching videos on how to work in the fifth dimension. But I can also facilitate a telepathic conversation in the fifth dimension between you and your beloved. And I can help you to access the fifth dimension and do some fifth dimensional healing for you. All right, so one of the things that I wanted to do also is to talk about healing, something that you might be able to focus on besides opening your third eye chakra. How about your throat chakra? Okay, so it's a chakra action day. The angels are helping you to lovingly speak your truth. So the next time that you do get the chance to interact with your beloved, you would say what you want to say very gently and you would make an impact. Oh, and we have another card that was in the back here. I never saw this one before. It says God box. Write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So that's a way to surrender. A lot of readers and teachers are talking about the surrender concept. This is how you do it. Again, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So you write the situation down and then you walk away from it and you don't do anything else and you let the divine take care of it for you. Okay, Archangel Michael would like to come through with the final message for you for today. Archangel Michael says, explore your options. And I believe this means that the God box could be one of those options because everything that you've been doing up till now is not really bringing about a union for you and your beloved. So it's time to try something different like the God box and the surrendering. Okay. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping us see, understand, and assess all of our options. Please guide us in the best direction for our health, happiness, and our life's purpose. So our mission, remember, it's time to step into that. Right, so I am sending you some Reiki healing energy with this video to help you balance out your energies, to help you love yourself more, to help you do something different, to physically bring about your union and spiritually bring about your union, and to help your beloved realize that they're not on just a psychological self-help journey, but that this is a spiritual journey and there's a big picture there's a mission that they need to join you on someday, hopefully soon. Praying for you, many blessings, light and love, namaste.